Let's solve this fraction word problem together. Iron Man and Batman had $760 altogether. Iron Man spent five-sixths of his money, and Batman spent three-quarter of his money. If both of them spent an equal amount of money, how much money did Iron Man have at first? Let's break down this problem step by step. Iron Man and Batman had $760 altogether. We're given the total amount of money that two people had, but we can't really tell what kind of model to draw yet. So, let's continue reading to see what else we're given. Iron Man spent five-sixths of his money, and Batman spent three-quarter of his money. Since we're given two different fractions, we can draw a comparison model to help us see this better. Before we do that, let's look at a very important clue in the next sentence. If both of them spent an equal amount of money, what does this tell us? This tells us that when we compare the amount of money that Iron Man and Batman spent, five-sixths of Iron Man's money, is the same amount as three-quarter of Batman's money. Let's use this information to draw our model. We're going to start with Iron Man's money. What fraction of his money did he spend? Yes, five-sixths of his money. Let's draw a bar to represent Iron Man's money. Then, we'll divide this bar into six equal parts, and label five of them as what he spent. So far, so good? Next, we're going to draw Batman's money. Five-sixths of Iron Man's money is the same amount as three-quarter of Batman's money. This means that five of Iron Man's units has to be as long as three of Batman's units. So let's draw three units for Batman first. This is the amount of money that he spent. Now that we've drawn three units, we know how long one of his units is. This makes it easier for us to draw the bar to represent the total amount of money that he had. This is already three out of four of Batman's units, so let's add in one more unit for Batman to represent the total amount of money that Batman had. Well done, everyone. If you've been following so far, we're done with the hardest part of drawing this model. You'll love the next part. Now that five of Iron Man's units is the same as three of Batman's units, how can we make it easier for us to compare the amount of money between these two people? Did you think of making the size of the units the same? If you did, great thinking. Let's think of the smallest common multiple of five and three. Did you think of 15? To make these five units into 15 units, we're going to divide each of these units into three smaller units. Don't forget to do the same to the other part over here. How can we make these three units into 15 units? Yes, we can divide each of these units into five smaller units and do the same to this unit over here too. Now that all the units are of the same size, let's go back to the first sentence. Iron Man and Batman had $760 altogether. Now, we can tell that these 38 smaller units represent a total of $760. Let's read the question and see what we're supposed to solve. How much money did Iron Man have at first? Which part of our model represents this? Yes, these 18 smaller units right here. Since we already know that 38 smaller units represent a total of $760, we can find the value of one smaller unit by dividing $760 by 38. This gives us $20. Since we've found that one smaller unit represents $20, it's easy to find the value of 18 smaller units. When we multiply $20 by 18, we get $360. And that's the amount of money that Iron Man had at first. 